Now I want to quickly take you through a sample with some more advanced programming using Lectora. So here I've created a memory game like you used to play as a little kid where you turn the cards over and you match the two that have the same face. So let's quickly go through it. You turn over two cards and if they don't match, you click this button to reset the game so you can turn over two more. And then once you make a match, you'll see a new link pop up that will take you to a page with more information about that topic. So it's a way to make uh, learning a little more fun where you turn over the cards and you match a topic and you can go to a page that has more information about it. And I've set up the variables so it remembers which cards you've turned over when you come back. And now we can keep going and make some more matches. And again, a new link pops up. You can go and check out. And you don't have to immediately click that link. We can keep matching here. And now when I flip the cards back over, it still remembers which ones were matched correctly. Okay, now that they're fully matched, we can see all the links that are available. You can see the two that I've already clicked on have these check marks. So to continue through the lesson, you need to actually go and view the page for each match. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that quickly now. So there you go. Now that we've completed all of these and have the check marks, the next arrow is available so we can finish the lesson. Uh, and the goal of creating this was to make a way to present information that's related to each other um, in a more interesting way. So if you have 12 topics that are all slight variations of each other, this way uh, it makes it a little more engaging for the learner. There you go. So that's the example.